hello 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 welcome to my kingdom yesterday morning i had a dream where i was taking my last breath and i was like to my heavenly father daddy i'm so happy to be coming home please welcome me and i had to say the salvation prayer all over again you know just to be sure i'm not going to the other side <laughs> Um, and then I woke up from that dream. When I woke up, I was disappointed that I didn't actually die. And like, I was disappointed by the fact that I'm still here. Not really, like, in a very, very bad way. And um, at the same time, I was smiling, like, okay, I spoke to the father. And at the same time i was like relieved that okay i didn't die because i haven't done what i'm supposed to do there is people out there that i still have to talk to for them to come to christ i still have to preach the gospel i still have you know purpose to fulfill if i had this dream a year or so ago honey i would have woke up from that dream and i was gonna do a warfare i was gonna cast and bind and everything but now that i understand who i am in christ and actually realizing that death is not a bad thing and with everything that's going on in the world i think being with the father is best at this time but knowing that i haven't done what i'm supposed to do now that's what me feel like okay maybe i'm not supposed to die yet because there's somebody out there that i still need to talk to there's somebody out there that still needs to know jesus christ and and that's the only thing if you were to ask me now if i'm scared of death no i'm not but i'm worried by the fact that i feel like i haven't done it enough as far as my father's business is concerned you know so a whole lot of people are scared of death actually i'm gonna use myself like if you ask me a year or so ago if I want to die, no honey, I, I didn't want to die. The reason was because I was going to look after my son. I haven't uh, traveled as much as I want to. I'm not yet married. I don't have enough money. I still want to open my business and see it flourishing. Those were my reasons why... I don't want to die, if you were to ask me a year ago. Maybe I had more, I don't know, I can't remember. But there's, those are the things that I feel like if that was then that I had this dream, I was gonna wake up and bind and cast because, hello, I haven't done this. And now that I know who I am in Christ and I'm bold like that. I feel like that's the reason I'm not scared of death. But at the same time, feeling like I haven't done much, I still have a lot to do. But if the Lord were to come now, honey, I'll be ready to go. Um, so i'm going to be posting uh, somewhere i'm gonna put the names of the people that died and went to hell okay they actually saved the devil the rest of their youth life and these are the people that from the time i had an encounter with the lord during lockdown to now every time i think of their testimony so you can just type their name and testimony for you to watch that and see if it's gonna put you as well in that place where you feel like okay i need to mend my relationship with god i really need to be in a place where i can boldly say 
if a rapture is to happen today, honey, I'm ready. You know, because um, this thing of saying, like I used to say, I don't want to die because of my child, my this, my that. My child uh, was given to me by God. I'm his custodian. I'm his parent here in the world, but at the same time, he belongs to God. So I shouldn't worry if I died what's going to happen to him or who's going to take care of him. That's none of my business. All I have to do is to make sure that I teach him the right way to live. I teach him the ways of God, like in Proverbs, you know, everything about the wisdom to my son, you know, and um, not having to worry what's going to happen to me if I'm to die, you know. So, I just had to share this. So you can ask yourself, why are you scared of dying? If it's any of the worldly things, or you think it's your kids, or your husband, or your business, as a Christian, that's a wrong answer to give. You need to be scared of dying because you don't want to go to hell. And if you don't want to go to hell, you feel you're not prepared to die, then Today is the day for you to fix your relationship with the Lord. You know where your shortcomings are. You know where your weaknesses are. And that's where you need to fix it. I mean, he is a loving father. He sent his son to die for us. So he can have a relationship with us. All we can do is just do what he said we must do. is just for us to follow the word and just live for him. Don't live for people, don't live for um, neighbors, don't live for social media, live for God, like, make every day be like, it's your last day, like, feel like, okay, if the Lord was to come now, or I were to drop dead now, am I going to go home? And actually, look yourself in the mirror in your room and be like, okay, Cindy, if you were to get out of here and die, are you sure that you will go to the Father? And you know yourself better than anyone. Some of these things, we do we do them behind closed doors because at church, we want the pastor to see us as the holier than thou. We dress longer robes. We, you know, always like cute in bed. But in our homes, behind closed doors, you know all the dirt you are doing that only you and God knows and the loving Father he can take you home I mean we see in the Bible that he left the 99 sheep to go and look for one sheep so every time somebody is born again everybody somebody decides to make their life right there is a rejoicing at home okay I just had to share this and I'm going to love and leave you. Bye-bye.